Hey guys, today I just wanted to make a quick video and talk about a project I've been working on for the last, I'd say, month or so now. Uh, I didn't really want to get into it right away because I wasn't sure how well it was going to work. Because again, I'm in, as I often am, experimental territory. Um, and there's really nothing you can Google about this or find much information on otherwise. But I've been in the process of de-stretching my labret. Um, now that may seem strange because for years I was in the process of stretching it, but as I've gotten into over the last few months, bit by bit on some of these vlogs and a bit on my podcast, um, I always wondered if I went a little too far and, um, I would see myself in various ways suffering a little more for my drive for progress than I would like to in that. Um, I always thought with my Labre originally, my finished size was gonna be about 18 to 20 millimeters. That was kind of like my end game plan. And I ended up kind of getting trapped in the, a bit of my want for progress and also a bit of the nature of the Labre stretching game is that once you start stretching your labre, it's really easy to keep sizing up. And in fact, the lip likes to size up. It likes to get bigger. The weight of the jewelry pulling down on your um, your lip and uh, just the moist nature of the inner lip, it's very conducive to stretching once you get to a certain point. Which is strange because the upper lip is actually not like that at all. But maybe it's just the way that... Um, when you talk, your lip is always bobbing around and stuff, and it's just easier to stretch. I don't know for what reason, but the filtrum is really hard to stretch and hurts to stretch. But the Labre, once you get to a certain point, it likes to stretch. It's really easy to stretch, and it doesn't really hurt. And in fact, it gets quite loose if you don't um, kind of regulate it. Um, and by regulate it, I mean to say that when I got to 26 millimeters... In my Labre, it started getting loose to the point where it would start getting a little leaky. And uh, the only way I could do anything about that was to take it out overnight. And sometimes even take it out during the day when I was um, around the house. I would have it out. And I wouldn't... I could actually drink that way. The only thing I couldn't do with it out was eat. But it was a method to kind of seal it up, tighten it up a bit so that I wouldn't have to go up to the next size. I see a lot of uh, my peers, I'll say, they'll get into that trap and they just keep going and it kind of never ends. Um, it kind of just keeps stretching. I know a guy who was had a smaller Labre than me last year and now he's got a 40 millimeter Labre piercing. So it doesn't take long to keep kind of stretching it up if you want. And it doesn't take long to get carried away with either on the same token. So I thought... I don't really want this discomfort. I would rather go down if I can, but I don't really want to par with my Labre either because I do like the jewelry. I do like the the look of the stretched Labre. I used to have um, seven lower lip piercings and three upper lip piercings, and I took out almost all of that with the intention of making um, just two bigger ones so that it was less clutter. But what was there was more um, important or meaningful, um, bigger, more eye-catching, and a little more adult in a way too, because having lots of piercings seemed a bit youthful or um, tied to a younger version of me. And of course, I used to wear lots of spikes and different things in there. So most of this, my lip has got scar tissue in it from old piercings. And uh, so this is actually stretched through scar which might be part of why um, I've had some leaking issues and different things like that, because a lot of people just get their labrays cut out at the size they want them. Um, almost always people get them cut to a larger size and then they increase it from there if they want to. Now, as I'm saying this, I understand the irony of, here I am talking about decreasing the size of my, my lip piercing, but it's still very large. And most people will see this and go, what are you talking about? That thing's huge. But if you were to watch back even a month ago, you would see 
that my last few vlogs, um, my lip was a lot bigger. Um, not just jewelry, but the lip too. And the way that I talk, though it doesn't change the way that I verbalize or um, sound, it does have a look difference. It, it changes the way it looks when I talk. Where before my lip did more of a flapping up and down motion because there was less movability. Um, having the giant wings on the inside of the piece doesn't allow for much movement of the mouth. Now, as much as I push back on the notion that it hurt the way I was able to speak or articulate, it did have a um, it did have a change of the physical representation of how I spoke, and so I wasn't really too cool with that long run either. But I wasn't sure what I could do about it, and barring um, or rather barring, uh, having it sewn up, and I wasn't wanting that. So, I will show, so this was the size my Labray was, just a few weeks ago, rather a month or so ago. So, that's the difference, I'll put it right here. So, if that doesn't show it off well enough, this is what I'm wearing, this size versus this size. So it's almost twice as big really. Um, I'm wearing an 18 millimeter piece right now and I may go down even smaller. Now the way I've done this is I've been leaving it out not just overnight every night but whenever I'm hanging around the house and I'm not doing anything I've been leaving it out. And as weird as it sounds um, since I have to wear a mask at work, and since my piercing doesn't leak unless I'm eating, I've been leaving it out under the mask at work, too. So, it's been a bit of a mixed blessing for me that I have to wear a mask at work, because I've been sort of able to shrink down my Labray, what, 8 millimeters in a month? Now, most people think that piercings won't shrink if they're out once they get to a certain point. And it may be true that I could never have this close up entirely by just leaving it out. But it's not clear just how far it could uh, stretch back. Like it's, it's pretty open to my imagination at this point, just how far back I could take this thing. And also it's about figuring out like how small I want it to be. I kind of like it this size, but I could go back maybe even one or two more. Um, yeah, just when you're stretching piercings, it's common to get into the game of really wanting to get to that next point, just for the sake of it, because it come, becomes fun, it becomes a challenge, right? Obviously, I like stretching piercings. I've stretched my ears. Every single hole in my ears is stretched. I have no holes that aren't. I think this is the smallest hole in my ear is a 4-gauge, because even this one is a 2-gauge now. So, every piercing I have is stretched except my cheeks and my bridges because I don't have a lot of tissue in my bridge and I don't really want big cheek piercings. But I like stretching piercings so the idea of down stretching or back stretching a piercing to a smaller size is a bit counterintuitive to me or it goes against my nature in some way. But at some point there is a responsibility um, in admitting when something is less comfortable when you want it than you want it to be, and um, walking it back when you think you've gone too far, and not too far for everyone, because like, if you're happy with a lip plate, that's cool, do your thing. I don't want a lip plate, and the way my lip was going at 26 millimeters was it was wanting to be 28 millimeters, which once I get to that size, it would want to be 30 millimeters. Before long, I'm at 40 millimeters, and I've got a lip plate. That's just the way Labray stretching works. Um, it's sad to me that um, something that's becoming more popular, there isn't a whole lot of uh, information on. Like there's not a whole lot you can figure out about this. And that's part of why I wanted to make this video and make it very candid and speak about some of my uh, hangups and my um, personal problems that I've had with it. But at this size, it's a lot more manageable. Um, it's more comfortable. It feels like less bulk in the mouth. But it still has that big look. 
it may still even be a little bigger. I've got a few pieces coming that are made. Um, they're going to be, because when I was stretching up, um, I was learning the curvature of my lip. And so I didn't really figure out exactly what I wanted for comfort and what would work perfectly for my lip until I finally got to my goal size of 26 millimeters. That's when I started getting new pieces made and figured out the wing length and depth and stuff so that it would be perfect to live in. But on the way up, I was still experimenting. So I'm wearing an 18 millimeter piece right now that I bought when I was still experimenting. So it's not as comfortable as the one I have coming will be. The one I have coming is going to fit me a lot better. It's not gonna be as long and I probably won't need to wear an O-ring or want to wear an O-ring with it. Um, so it'll look even smaller. Um, just due to the fact that the O-ring adds about a millimeter to the, the look. So wearing this looks more like wearing a 19 or 20 millimeter, uh, where if I were to wear it without the O-ring, it would be a bit smaller looking, but because this piece is a bit too long, having no O-ring on it, it makes it look really, really long and pointed. So it's just, there's a lot of learning that goes into stretching your labret and um, there's a lot of things that happen along the way that you might not expect. Um, I've even had a few pierce, uh, pieces made, I think by 22 millimeter piece, I made the wings too narrow. They were too pointed. So in other words, too far away from the teeth. They were jetting back a little too far. They became very sloped. And I actually had it spit out of my mouth one time when I was talking. Um, embarrassing, right? But these are the kinds of things that are really hard to, especially since all of the jewelry at that those sizes is custom made. It's really hard to know your lip perfectly without just trying things first. I mean, obviously I've measured it in a variety of different ways, but you don't know what wearing something like this on the inside of your mouth for months in between pieces, because it takes months for each one. You don't know what it's gonna feel like or what it's gonna wear like without experimenting. And I've been now experimenting for the last four years for comfort. And I think that coming to this decision to downsize it was the the maturing of my interest in body mods, not the um, not the lessening or the walking away from body mods necessarily. It's more like I want this in my life, but I want it in my life my life in a way that it doesn't affect me in ways that I'm not happy with, or um, put stress in areas that I don't want. So. Anyway, I hope this video has been helpful to anyone. I'm sure there's gonna be some point where someone has a similar problem and I'm hoping that this will come up in a Google search or that they'll be able to find it on YouTube or something to give them some advice on some of their options because I don't think that I'm alone in this. I just think that there's, there's no one else with these problems that's willing to talk about it because it's a little embarrassing and it, it shouldn't be. It should be okay to talk about this stuff more openly. Anyway, if you guys have found this one interesting or useful, uh, be sure to share it with your friends and I'll talk to you again soon.